Hello, everybody, and welcome to Spyro, Year of the Dragon. Ah, hmm. Should we start off? Let's boot up it. Let's boot up in the game. Sparks. Okay. So, uh, this is... We're going to be playing the, uh... This is the sequel of the game that we're going to be playing next week. Uh, probably I'm going to be completing next week, completely on live stream. What I'm hoping. Uh, it only takes, like, yeah, I'll probably beat it in 24 hours. But, uh, let's just skip that. So, uh, I didn't have a video for today, and I thought, oh, this is going to be awesome, as well as a preview for the next week. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So this is a PS1 game. Uh, very good PS1 game. Come on. Uh, probably the best in the, stu in the series. I personally prefer the one that we're going to play. Though, I objectively, this is the best one. Uh, I love having a DualShock controller for the uh, PC. So, uh, for those of you who don't know this game, we play as Spyro the Dragon this purple fellow here, and, uh, really, the game is fetch quests. Fetch quests the game. Uh, but it, the fact that it's only that makes it fun. So, let's, uh, I, I guess, actually, it's not even really fetch quests. It's more just collectibles, the game. There's, it's all collectibles. Like, for example, I'm collecting all the gems right here, not because there's- there is stuff that I do have to buy with the gems, but I'm not collecting them because of that reason, I'm collecting them because, well, I want the gems. And you have to collect these dragon eggs, too. Which, uh, these, you kind of- they're kind of the point of the game. And, uh, let's check the atlas. So, in the uh, other game, there are, in the game that we're going to be playing, there are also talismans that need to be collected. In this game, it's something different. I don't remember. It's been a long time. Oh, goodness. That's another th that's the thing that happens. No, please, no. So, th actually, I might be able to change the options. Yeah. <laughs> that's the one problem. My... I don't have the emulator set correctly, and so it does that, which is annoying. Let's grab these gems. Let's go and play the first world, though, so we're not boring. First world, honestly, this game has a very, very fun start. The uh, first character you unlock is really, really fun, the character world. And... Uh, this also showcases, this first world showcases the game beautifully. Now, let's go through here. And I'll have that text thing hopefully fixed by the time we do this one issue. Can I walk through here? Yeah, I can. So you've got a charge, and you've got the flame breath I've been using. Oh, thanks. Let's not talk to you. What I don't understand is that the music works fine, and all the sound effects work exactly like I remember, but the voices do not. I actually never owned this game. I played it, uh, in a hotel, I think, when we stayed at a hotel at one point. <laughs> I beat the game there, so within 24 hours of staying at a hotel, I beat this game. Because we didn't leave the- I didn't leave the hotel. I don't remember, at least. I think we might have been there for a wedding that I just didn't go to. So. So more gem collecting. Which may look boring. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I've got such nostalgia goggles. Don't talk to me. No, no, don't talk to me. Yeah, it's too big to charge. I don't know why they think... They, like, assume that your basic attack that you're going to be using is charge. And, like, so they have to tell you to, that you have to fire, uh, you have to blow fire on those guys. Because I just use, 
I use fire all the time anyway. Except for the guy, like, when they're running away, then they're especially annoying. But aside from that... So, uh... For those of you who don't notice, uh, this is, this level is based, uh, maybe lightly, maybe more heavily, based on Greece, though. Greece as it is now. I think it's cool. Let's get to, uh, let's see if we gotten everything in here. Go over here. Let's see how many gems we're gonna be collecting here. So how do you do this? I think the Atlas might be mapped to select. Okay, we've got 100 out of 400. So. Definitely not a game that requires much skill, but it's very fun. Nope, 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 nope. Hi, Spyro! Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> that, that's all I'm thinking about when that happens. Just nope, nope, nope. I love chicken. So, everything in here. Each one of these levels has a big objective and then a smaller objective. Uh, so, gems are always the smaller objective. Uh, then there should be a. Uh... Oh, nope. There is another thing. Now, I don't know if there's... There are three, like, collectible kind of things in the second game, the game that we're going to be playing. Specifically, but, uh... I don't remember how many there are in this game. Did that open up? Yeah, it did. Yeah, he's going to open up the end. Oh, oh, yes. Ah, okay. So, yes, they open up... They give you dragon eggs. Instead of, uh, talismans, like the first game gives you. So this... We have... To, uh, nope, 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 nope. And then they escape out of there. So, basically, we need to go to a world and open... We have to go to all the worlds and open up all of those portals. That's what we have to do. So that we can get all the guys out and they can start our path to the next world. I don't know how far we're going to get in this. Okay, now please let this be the uh, skateboarding game. Yes. Ah, nope, nope. So, like, this is pretty much the coolest thing ever. You're a skateboarding dragon. Oh, crap. And yes, filled- everything is filled with gems. So, let's see this one. I don't know why these guys don't just curl back into their holes like they uh, do when I'm on foot, when uh, I'm skateboarding, but I'm totally fine with that. Ah, crap. So, this is just one- there's a couple of these skateboarding missions. This is one of them. Did he jump over that? some pro stuff right here. Uh, so we're gonna have to go back up there now. But, uh... Pff, commentary is just dead. Oh, goodness, I have to build up some speed. I don't remember if there's a, uh... Paddling thing. I have to get up there the other way. Uh, I should have crashed into those. I don't know why I didn't. So just try to collect as many of these gems as possible while I fail to get up here. Oh, I forgot to jump. Oh boy. Anything to talk about. Uh, I was gonna say something about the storyline, but that would give away the ending of the game we're gonna play. 
So that that would be a bad idea. One thing you guys should do is go out and play this game. Because it is wonderful. I mean, again, best of its series. And it's still a ton of fun, even though Spyro is a kid's game pretty much. It's even worse now with that Skylanders. Like, the Skylanders filth on the series. Let's get over here. I didn't know that you had to uh, jump on this. Yeah, okay, I got him that time. One left, good. And I think we got all the gems here too. Nope, I didn't. Okay, well, we'll just grab the gems. And bonk, of course. Now, I don't remember beating this game. I do not remember the ending to this. Okay, good. That, nope, nope. Not good. That. So he's gonna give me a dragon egg. Yeah, okay. Difficult boarding challenge. Oh, wait. All the lizards again? Oh, yes. Now it's a uh, timed challenge. So, this is the easier of the uh, two difficult challenges. There's this challenge, which is just the same thing, but with a time limit. And then there's the next challenge, which is so much more difficult. And, uh, it's something that you could probably have a lot of fun with your friends with, though. Are you serious? Let's see here. But yeah, just the thought of a dragon on a skateboard to me. It's still just as cool, like, it's still just as amazing right now as it was when I was a kid. Oh, I left him alive. Uh, we're going over there. And also, this isn't like a that Zelda goat herding game, where you do it once and you never do it again. This this comes up quite a bit throughout the game. Oh, I missed it. So, you better like the skateboarding bit if you are gonna 100% this game. I'm not gonna say quite a bit, actually, because that's not true. It does come up, it comes up a couple times. Are you serious? What? Oh. You're not allowed to fall off? Or did I just miss the time? That's good. Whatever. Let's just go for that first. Come here, you dick. See that? That was skills. Talking much now, I'm not gonna be talking much. Oh, yeah. Come on. I'm not, I'm not talking much now. This I'm probably just gonna skip this next challenge because uh, it is so much harder than this. But I do want to show it to you guys because it is really good. Like if you if you like the idea of doing this, then you are gonna love that this next challenge. Because while this is awesome, it's not nearly as cool as it could get this entire, like, what this skateboarding thing is used for. And there's, I don't think you ever have to do this again. I'm pretty sure this is the only time you've got to do this. But, like, this particular, like, catch the lizards thing. But, uh, the rest of them, are you serious? Oh. I get prepared to skip. It's weird how I have to skip. I've got to like 
Press start, then press A again, then press start. Wait, whoops. Come on, let's not screw this one. I don't even mind having to redo this over and over. Because the sense of accomplishment in doing it afterwards is so good, and the music is great too. Even though it's not, it doesn't get in the way at all or anything. Like, this is the kind of game where I can happily play the game and this is the soundtrack and it's fine. But still, the soundtrack isn't great enough so that if I, like, want to listen to music, I don't have to not. Like, I don't, I, it's not one of those games where I play it me. what the heck? It's not one of those games where I play it mainly for the soundtrack, like, dee 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 Oh goodness, that was a little scroll. they're having a problem with these guys. Three more, okay. How the- oh. Let's go there and get If I screw up between getting this guy and, like, yeah, okay, good. That was the difficult challenge. Come on. Okay, can't skip this egg. Oh, that's weird. Now. Good. The course record. Oh, yes. Okay. So, final challenge. This. This is so much fun. Just. Just. Oh, goodness. What am I say? It's, uh. I think it's. Triangle for tricks. So basically, as you do tricks, it's gonna accumulate points, and the more the same trick you do, the uh, less points it's worth. So obviously, uh, whoops. so obviously you can't just spam the same tricks over and over again, which is very, very uh, that's a very good thing that they did. Though. And it doesn't instantly boot you off. Now, I don't know what the course record is, so I don't know what I'm going for. I don't think I've done any spins right. I did one already. Ah, goodness. Uh, where's the big jump here? There's a big jump everywhere. Yeah, right there. Oh, no, it's not that one. It's the other one. Over. There's a nice big jump over right here. Where you can just do this trick. Let's get back over there. And basically, you're just gonna want to spam the uh, Twisted Lemon. But sometimes you can get some really awesome tricks, and some tricks that have to do especially with the course. Oops, that was a front flip and a Twisted Lemon. I was going to do the, uh, the, like, the reverse Twisted Lemon, which I don't remember the name of. Oh. Oh, maybe it's just a Twisted Lemon either way. Should that might be enough? I actually don't know what the course record is. So we're not gonna do this again. Yeah, course record is 3,200. So we're just gonna skate back to the exit. We don't need the course record. Uh, though it is gonna start it up again. Let's uh, just go over here. That's that. Take some more water. Okay. Let's check the atlas. Did we get all the dragon eggs? Hop to Rapunzel. Okay. Yeah, hop to, hop to Rapunzel. There's an extra one, too. So. Let's go look for those. I know where Hop to Rapunzel is. Oh, that's a token, okay. So, uh, I know where Hobbs or Rapunzel is. We'll go and do that one. I don't remember- oh! The extra one is on that hidden island over there. Which we can also get to. Actually, that might be where Rapunzel is, right? 
This game is very, very, very nice to exploration. Which is good. Now, as someone who's already played the game, goes. most of the stuff isn't hidden to me. Though, like, after, like, this I've played maybe a couple of years ago. I probably have replayed this. But, uh, oh, and there, that's another thing. Actually, that might... That hops... Uh, no, oops. That, uh, island over there that I was talking about, that might be out to Rapunzel. And then that inside that cave it was definitely the uh, final egg, which was, uh, Sheila's egg. We'll talk about Sheila in a bit, because she is awesome. Should be able to make that. Yep. And that should be hop to Rapunzel. Good. Miles. I've always seen Miles spelled with a Y, never with an I. So that should have been hop to Rapunzel. No. That's Glide to the Spring. Oh. Hop to Rapunzel must be Sheila's thing then. Unless I just did it wrong. I might have just done it wrong. Hmm. Well, now I've got to go back and check. I don't think we've gotten all the gems here anyway. Sheila's thing might actually be her own place. Let's go over here. That's Sheila's place. I guess that must be Hop to Rapunzel. Do we have all the gems? No, we're missing one. Because I'm guessing the other one is in Sheila's place, like, like that last egg is. And we'll go and grab Sheila after this. Oh no. Oh. It must be 50 in Sheila's place then. So we're missing quite a few diamonds. Go ahead and get him. Maybe not. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like that's it. We've cleared out all that we could. So let's go back. Okay. Let's find Sheila. There she is. Don't remember how much she costs. Just don't talk to me. I missed how much it was. Oh no, good. That was it. So yeah, it must have it must have been like three hundred or four hundred. <laughs> I hope you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting you out. As good of you, mate. No hard feelings, eh? Right. After all, I'm just doing my job. I reckon you'd be one of them dragons, then. Yeah, named Spyro. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden you left. Poof. Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They say it was over a thousand years ago, I think. And they just left? Yeah. And the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Well... I gotta get back Those home and do some damage control. Come so yeah, that's Sheila. Like. And we're gonna go play as Sheila. So money bag's kind of a dick. But Sheila's awesome. So, yeah, the adventure continues. Bonk. Okay. So, you go into a little Sheila level. There are any... Okay, there are lots of people. This isn't in the uh, second cave, so we're never gonna actually do this. But, uh... Nope, 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 nope. 
Cutscene audio works fine, but not this. Nope, 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 nope. Thanks again, Spyro. So Sheila's different from Spyro. In that she's got two kicks. Uh, double jump? Yeah, unlike Spyro, she has a double jump. And she doesn't have glide. And I think she's got a... Yeah, she's got that thing. I don't think... Spyro does have that. I don't know if he starts off with it or not. Good. Uh, also, for some reason, Sheila gets Sparks, which doesn't make any sense. Uh, sparks is your dragonfly, by the way. And, uh, oh yeah, she bounces repeat. She repeatedly bounces, uh, or the second big bounce she makes is higher than the other one. Ah, goodness. And he gives us a dragon egg. Well, I don't think there are many dragon eggs. Actually, this might just be a normal level. Oh my goodness, I was kind of scared that he was going to talk again. Really got to get that sorted out. Let's get out of here. So let's get up there. Goodness. So gems are the main part of this. The collect everything aspect. It's the game. It's a fun game, too. That actually might be a thing we can break in. Maybe it's a different crack. Oh yeah, all of these walls are cracked, that's right. There's specific cracks that Sheila can... can bust in. <laughs> I was kicking boulders! Don't mess with me, you guys. Let's get up here. So. Yeah, so this is well, crawling. Like it doesn't it might not look it actually, I don't know what you guys think of it. But definitely one of my favorite games and probably the best game in the series. That's okay. Give me another dragon. Yeah. We understand. Hey look, it's Jenny, the dragon! Doing the chicken dance with buck teeth and glasses. So all Sheila at levels act like this. Every Sheila level, you play as Sheila, and you take the place of Spyro. Oh, also these vases—they cannot be uh, broken with uh, fire. With oh goodness. So, uh, yeah. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so the Sheila levels, they're just like Spyro levels, except you take control of Sheila instead of Spyro. But no, I to collect all the gems. And yes, like I said, while you, like, it's not that you don't buy anything with these gems, or treasure as the game calls it. You d you do buy stuff like Sheila, for example. You buy other characters, but it's that's not why you get it. You collect it just because basically you're just a noob for not collecting it. Unless you specifically want to get to the ending of the game, and that's it. Oh goodness. Unless you only want to get to the end of the game, then uh, you should definitely collect all the treasure because then you haven't been able to complete it. <laughs> This game's a lot like Super Mario World, where it's like, if you didn't 100% it, what's the point? Hey, give me another egg. No, 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 no. Hush, don't speak. Nan. Good. Yep, and then... Okay. That's gonna come up when you've cleared every all the gems and uh, all the eggs. So that was all the eggs. And here should be all the gems. Oh, let's go 
let's hope I haven't missed one. So it is really easy, though, to miss one gem, and then just have to play the entire level over because you missed one thing. Or just scour the entire level because you missed one gem. That should have been the last of the gems, actually. Let's see. Now, let's see how many we missed. We missed 50. Okay, that means there's a little area somewhere with some gems in it that we gotta go and find. That might be it over there. Actually, 50 is a bit too odd of a number. This is for, or 40, it's like 51. Come on. These probably won't have 51 in them. So that's, that wasn't very many at all. How many are we still missing now? 25, approximately. 27, more like. So, there must be somewhere here. With some more gems. I must have missed an alcove. Or an alcove or something. Yeah, we get it. Ah, there we go. That's annoying. When enemies die, their bodies are still solid. Come on. This should be it. No, not quite. We must be missing like none. Three. No, we're missing three. And they weren't inside here. So those last three are just scattered around the map. Which this is where Spyro gets really annoying. Because now we got to look through the entire map looking for those last three gems. We probably left in the beginning. Actually, they might have been right here in the water. Nope. Okay, not over here. Go on. Maybe up here? No. So it's most like we most likely missed a green gem and a red gem, because those are twos and ones. Oh. There's the green one. Now it's just one gem, so we're missing a red gem somewhere. And this can get really annoying, this gem hunt business. Or could it be... Can I leave it up here? No. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, while I'm searching for this gem, you guys should, at some point, Maybe, maybe even now, if it's late enough. If you guys are up at, at like, the late nights for EST, you should check out, uh, Green 9090 and, uh, Alpaca Patrol and Currently Dancing Cam. You should check them all out on, uh, Twitch.tv, because I've been showing up recently and playing Dota with them. There we go. So, yeah, go there. But that's, that's when you know you finished a level. You never finish a level by a... Can you go, th go through the back? I think you can. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, oh, good. Another cutscene. Um, you never finish a, uh... uh so she's the antagonist. I'm walking down with Hunter, who's the cheetah guy. He, he teaches you most of the acrobatic stuff. Them polygons. Ooh, look out, Hunter. It's the scary sorceress. 
I've warned you already. This place isn't safe for small dragons and pussycats. Thanks, but I think we can look after ourselves. Try looking after this! Come back when you finish witch school, okay? Say, is it just me? Or is she kind of cute when she's angry? <laughs> and Spyro hangs his head in shame. So, yeah. She's the antagonist. She's pretty cool, I'm pretty sure. I, I'm pretty sure, actually. No, that that would be a spoiler. <laughs> that would be a spoiler for the, uh, for if you guys ever want to play this game to the end. Which you should, it's a fun game. Anyway, let's go back into this level. Excuse me. So we'll finish this up. And then, uh... So yeah, all of the enemies always respawn, but they don't drop more rupees. So we'll finish this up. And, uh, we'll be done with, uh... Our little let's, uh... I guess this is gonna be a less, let's attempt, because I'm not doing a long playthrough of this. But you guys, I, I've played this game before, and you guys should all too. It's a really old one, though. And I, I know, you probably can't get your hands on a PS1 at this point if you don't have one already. And it's probably even like less likely to have already have uh, Spyro 3. And even less likely to have not played Spyro 3 to own it. Hey, Spyro! Hey, 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 Sheila. So, yeah, in each level, there's a Sheila there, and each level... There's generally one of these levels with uh, where you just play as one of the side characters. It's not always Sheila, there are other ones which are cool. Sheila's not the best character, but she's also not the worst. There's ones that I really don't like. But I'm pretty sure Sergeant Bird takes the best. Uh. Oh, but yeah, it's very unlikely that you'll be able to get your hands on an actual copy of this. So, I, I wouldn't feel remiss if you guys just got it on an emulator. But, regardless of how you get your hands on it, well, look, that would have taken me forever to find. Uh, play this game. It's very good. And, uh, I don't know. If you guys want to... There was a gem here. I don't know, if you guys want a long-term Let's Play of it, I can do it. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to it. <laughs> I don't know where I am with that 48% uh, file, but I, it, since I don't know and I don't remember, I don't feel attached to it. <laughs> so, a uh, comment. Oh! When you fall off, I don't think it instantly takes away a life. Oh. No, yeah, it does. <laughs> when you fall off, you lose a life, because you're bad. Basically, what the game is telling you. Uh, this is just a fun 3D platformer, so uh, please check it out. Uh, if you want to see me play more of it, then I will. I wouldn't mind. And uh, this is again a more. I did this game half because it's a fun game that you guys should all play, and half because this is pretty much like an advertisement for next week, which is going to be me streaming if you haven't heard or didn't watch that video. Watch that announcement video that I put up for the next two weeks, because the next Cuboid Sandbox is going to be there, and, uh, well, more of this, basically, but with less Sheila. More Spyro. Lots more Spyro. We're hopefully going to finish Spyro, too. And, uh, a lot of fun. Also check out the other streamers I mentioned, because they stream pretty much every night. I don't quite know how that's going to work yet with my stream. Because I tend to watch their streams, or take part in them occasionally when they play Dota. So I don't know how that's going to happen. But I'll, I'll deal with it. Let's just uh, go up here. And so, remember, this is still the same level that we were in before, so there's only one egg and there's only so many gems that we need. So, where's... Now, let's control the camera. Oh, there's nowhere to glide to. Where are we 
supposed to go? Oh, okay. Yeah. Building vertical levels like this with such an annoying camera. Ah, 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 ah. There's Rapunzel. And there's the final dragon egg. So now we, all we have to do is grab the gems. Which there are how many left? Let's see. 25. should be like a cache of them somewhere. Is it cache or cache? I don't know. I like cache better. People have told me it's cache. I tell them I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Where are those last 25 gems? Okay, so we can't jump off there. That wouldn't have been a good idea. Glad I didn't do it. That looks like a place I should have been. Oh, pfft. good thing I jumped off. So now all the enemies are dead, so... Oh no, good. We're back up here. Okay, so we've got to go over here. Oh, no, we have to go this way. Where'd it go? Ah, oh, up here, good. Where are the gems? Good. So thank you for watching my uh, Spyro 3 video. I really had a really great time here. Uh, it's very nice to be playing this game again. But we aren't quite done. Let's see how many gems watch two. Three. Oh, whoops. That was switch the analog to the D-pad. Which, I don't know why that button is there, considering, like, for this... I, I don't know. This game just doesn't use that button at all. Considering the analog and the D-pad control the same thing. So, let's see here. Actually, that's an interesting thing to talk about. Do you guys like the DualShock controller? I love the DualShock design. I think it's amazing. But, uh... Lots of people prefer the uh, Xbox controllers, and to that I'm like, what? This is like the best controller design ever. To be fair, I did grow up with a PS1. And, though again, I also grew up with a Nintendo Entertainment System. And I would not like that controller back. I'd love an N64 controller to be part of everything. I mean, half of the game's difficulty comes just from the controller. It's sort of just a green gem. Uh, and I don't know where it is. I don't- it might be here. It might not be. Now here's one of the worst things, is that it could be here, it could be in the skate park, it could be in the normal realm. This is tiny, I think I've cleared it out. Now we're gonna search. What's even worse, though, is that there is no walkthrough that could be helpful for this. There's no- there's no help you could get for this. There's no, like, gem tracker. Which makes this game pretty much uncheatable. I mean, you could always go and find a guide that showed you all of the eggs and showed you how to beat all the bosses. But that's not the hard part of the game. The hard part of the game is getting all the gems. Did I say gems when I meant eggs? I probably did. I mean, a guide that would tell you exactly where all of the gems were? That just wouldn't even be worth it. 
Uh, nope. Oh, yep. Yeah, he got me. Get out of there. Hmm, there should be two more gems here. I'm gonna check the skate park. Skate park is probably where they're gonna be. I, should, I probably missed them here. Again, though, this is a, a lot of this viral. Let's put it. Nope, 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 nope. Now, time for I'm totally not going for course record. Uh, no gems here. Okay. Green gem, green gem, nope. There we go! Yep. So, out of the three of the realms, it was in this one. And now we can get out. That was. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this. N uh, definitely a nice game to play again been a long time. Probably a year since I did that save file. Which is weird for me, because normally my hard drives get reset. Though, I finally got an external drive, so I don't need to, so whenever my hard drive resets, or I switch computers, excuse me, it is early. It's like 2, it's 2 p.m. But uh, now whenever I switch computers, I've got everything I want right there on my external drive. Which is now where most of my Steam games are. Now I'm just gonna run around the hub world collecting gems. Uh, actually, no. I am not gonna play any more of this. We're gonna stop it right here. If you guys want to see more, then uh, tell me in the comments. Like the video. Everything you do counts. And I might do more of this. If you don't want to see more, because it is going to be a lot of tedious gem hunting. But we'll meet some awesome characters and see the ending. Because this is going to be a game I finish to completion, be it, like, actually recording it or not. Uh, so watch, this is going to be one we'll actually see the ending to. If you want to see it, then... Comments. You're the people who dictate what I do. Oh, goodness. Oh, so he does start out with that, though. Sometimes you... There are some abilities you need to go to Hunter for. I want to get that. Uh, what am I doing here? I'm just letting the audio desync more. Thank you guys for watching, and I will not have a video out tomorrow, because I'm already looking for things to uh, post very hard. But uh, no video out tomorrow, but I will be uh, streaming the first of many streams that will happen next week. Uh, I will be streaming at 9 o'clock like I always do, 9 o'clock EST. So depending where you are in the world, that's a different time. Well, I'm sorry if it's a little late for you, or uh, if you're on the other half of the world. I'm sorry if it's in the middle of the night. But it has to be done. And whenever I watch streams, it's usually in the middle of the night anyway. So. I'm gonna leave you with that. And with me headbutting this tree. I'll see you all next time. <laughs> Booby!